Hello, hello, Alexis here from PersiaLoo.com. Today I'm talking all about the Silhouette Go mobile app, which is a new app that allows you to use your Bluetooth enabled Silhouette machine with your phone, tablet, or mobile device. This app is limited in its editing capabilities, so it's not a replacement for the Silhouette Studio software, but it does make it easier to do simple projects on the go. I'm gonna walk you through all the basics of using this app, so let's get started. Through the Silhouette Go app, you can easily access all of the designs you have added to your Silhouette library. Any designs that you have purchased from the Silhouette Design Store will automatically be added to your library, and you can also add any of your own designs to the library. There are a couple of ways you can do this. In the Silhouette Studio software on your computer, click on File, Library, Import to Library, and then find the file that you want to add to your library. Alternatively, you can simply drag and drop files into your library when you're in the library tab of the Silhouette Studio software. You can also open SVG files by clicking on the plus device icon at the bottom of the screen and then locating the file on your device. When you have your design opened in the app, you are ready to arrange that design on your mat. First, use two fingers pinching and dragging to zoom in and out and move your mat around on your screen. The plus file icon at the top allows you to add an additional file or design to your mat. Click on the trash can to delete an object. The arrows icon on the bottom right corner of a selected object lets you scale or resize that object. The icon on the bottom left corner of a selected object allows you to make a copy of it. The round arrow in the upper right corner allows you to rotate. Tap to rotate by 90 degrees or drag for freeform rotation. This icon that looks like two overlapping squares allows you to ungroup a selected design. The back arrow lets you undo your last action. Tap and then drag to select multiple objects and then this square icon allows you to group those objects together. The two facing triangles icon allows you to mirror or horizontally flip your design, which is an essential function when working with heat transfer vinyl. The registration marks icon turns registration marks on for print and cut projects. Clicking on this grid icon will cause the objects on your mat to snap to the grid. And finally, this last icon will allow you to change the machine you're working with. When you're ready to send your project to the machine, click on Continue to Job Settings. Here you can change the material you're using, change the action, and change your blade or tool. To test or modify your cut settings, click on the link above the Continue button. I'm going to increase my blade depth a little bit. Then click continue to send. Click through the slides at the end, reminding you to load your mat and tool, and then click send. And that's it, the basics of using the Silhouette Go mobile app. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you're using the app, let us know in the comments how it's working for you and what you like using it for. Until next time, happy making. Bye.